Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020, 2021, uh, or 2021 Panini Donruss Baseball. Four box, pick your team, or random team number one. One spot gets you three teams each in this break, so it's only a 10 spot break. No vet commons ship, and the uh, Bud Selig, San Diego Chicken, Domingo cards um, will be all collected as one lot and randomized to one person in the break. Big thanks to these folks here. Let's triple you up. And all 30 baseball teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Five and a three, eight times. One, two, three, eight times for names and teams. Four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we got Christopher down to Regina. Five and three, eight times for the teams. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we got the Royals all the way down to the Padres. All right, Chris with the Royals, Neil with the Diamondbacks, Ryan with the Phillies, Chris with the Rockies, Ryan with the Blue Jays, Chris with the Reds, Kevin with the Tigers, Regina with the Angels, Kevin with the White Sox and Brewers, Regina with the Braves, Richard with the Pirates, Jarrell with the Marlins, Christopher with the Rangers, Chris, uh, or sorry, Kevin with the Giants, Chris has the Rays, Richard with the Twins, Kevin with the A's, Richard with the Astros, Ryan with the Cardinals. Kevin with the Nats, Neil with the Cubs, Jarrell with the Mariners and the Red Sox, Charles, you got my Dodgers, the Yankees, and the Indians, Chris with the Mets, Neil with the Orioles, and Regina with the San Diego Padres. Let's get all this on one screen. Let's sort by column B. All right. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then, actually, no. I'm going to have to open up this fresh case. So here's the trade window, me opening up this fresh case. And let's see what we got here. Grab stacks of four. So there's a stack of four. Here's a stack of four. There's another stack of four. Four. One, two, three, four. We're going to select a die. Let's select that one right there. And we'll go one, two, three, four. Right, where did my top camera go? What's going on today? Anyway, we'll go one, two, three, four, and if I roll a five or a six, I'll roll again. It's a four. One, two, three, four. So we'll use the far right four, and these we'll save for next time. little slash marks here so we know that these are all from they might get mixed up a little bit but we know they're all from the same case <laughs> all right there you go ladies and gentlemen all right so we are going to pause the video when we come back we're going to see if there's any trades and then we'll have the break stick around all right, welcome back, folks. There's a little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals done. Four box, Ram team number one, brand new release. 2021 Panini Donruss Baseball on a Friday. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. Schedules in the chat if you're wondering what's coming up next.
See you, Jackie. Got a uh, Houston at St. Louis on in the background here, MLB Network. I'm just noticing some more of the starters playing, playing a little bit longer, and the the, the pitchers are starting to to get their pitch counts up a little bit. We're getting closer and closer to opening day. So most of these are going to ship. It's only these like vet commons that aren't going to ship. But that's an insert. That'll ship. All right. That's an insert. That'll ship. Obviously, all numbered cards will ship. You know, that's a different insert as well. That will ship. But the Vado, these are the base cards right here. Those won't ship. So just FYI. Obviously, all the rated rookies will ship. Corey Seager ships. And Sixto Sanchez flipped around ships. And all of those will be sleeved and uh, top loaded before they're sorted and shipped out. Just in the interest of time, we're going to breeze through these. There's the Mark McGuire to 2021. And Luis Robert, his piece of his jersey will obviously ship. That will go to Kevin and the White Sox. Carlos Car uh, Carrasco to 100, Cleveland edition. Bren Lau, Diamond Kings. Alec Baum rated rookie, Dustin May, 2021. And we got Andres Munoz to 999 for the uh, Padres and the Babe. Bomb might be one of the bigger names this year for the Phillies. Ryan Kaysen. There's Jacob deGrom. What's in the background there? Oh, stat this is a Statue of Liberty in the background. That's pretty cool. We got Joey Gallo, 75, fire. And our first autograph is Ryan Jeffers for the Twins. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo for Richard. There you go, Richard. Joe Adele might be another big name for the for the year as well. This is Corey Seager. Well, I'm beginning to think. I wonder, could he be an outside outside chance for uh, for an MVP run? 
There may I'm I'm sure his his odds aren't very high. Or very low, however you want to call it. I'm sure he has long odds. Longer odds than a lot of people, but he could be a sneaky good value play if you're into that sort of thing. If you're interested in the the awards futures market. There's Rafael Devers unleashed to 249. There's Arenado. Who is he playing? He's going. He's probably looks kind of weird in a. Probably going to look kind of weird in a Cardinals uniform. It's Jose Barrios. Luis Capusano to 99 autograph for San Diego. Regina with the Padres. Oh, there he is, Arenado up to bat, right on cue. Yeah, it definitely looks weird in a Cardinals uniform. Oh, that doesn't look right. That looks weird. What are you doing? Oh, he's in the all red top, bright red helmet, Nolan Arenado. Very strange. Even even stranger than when Goldschmidt went to the Cardinals. There's Javier Baez to 2021. There's the Pico de Gallo. Otani. And a Mookie Betts unleash. That's numbered to 999 for the Dodgers. Nice looking one for... Charles and the boys in blue. Eloy Jimenez. Tatis Jr. to 2021. There's Alex Rodriguez. He's no long. Did you guys hear the big news? Him and J-Lo, Splitsville. Apparently he was... Uh, as one, as one article put it, he was playing the field with a young reality star. Just as, uh, just as A-Rod was seemingly rebuilding his brand. Christian Pache for the Braves, Regina. This could be another big name in the hobby this year. All right, box two of four. Donner's four box random team number one. I know everyone's pretty beat up over that. That's why everyone's so quiet in the chat. Everyone's pretty pretty beat up about the uh, about the A Rod J Lo news. I know it's devastating. I hope everyone's okay. Hang in there. I know you're thinking to yourself, does love even exist anymore? You know? When two rocks like J-Lo and A-Rod, if they can't stay together, what chance does anyone have? If they can't make it, who can? I know, questions all filling in our heads. that they were they were they were a power couple this was this was this was we were there was going to be a wedding it was probably going to be televised probably not but it's probably going to be televised there's Tatis Jr. sneaking out here you know this was going to be our uh, our Prince William and uh, and, and what's her Middleton Kate Middleton it's going to be our royal wedding no, we've got we've been shorted that. Terrible news. Justin Larson, yes, it, it is still Miss Lopez, Justin. So you still got a chance with Jenny from the block.
Justin, you can just be like, listen, Alex just didn't appreciate you, man. That's how Alex is. He's always thinking, what upgrades, what upgrades can I make? You know, you should have known. He's a Reuter, right? He's a Reuter. I don't know how you take roids. Maybe like this or maybe like this. I don't know how he did roids, but he's a Reuter. He was always looking for the next thing, the next edge. He was always looking for the, now that the next J-Lo, you know, maybe younger edition of J-Lo. I wouldn't do that to you is what Justin Larson would say. That's your, that's your in, that's your pitch. I wouldn't do you like that, Jennifer. You know, I wouldn't take you for granted. Like A Rod did with Lucas Giolito. There's Donovan Solano, 2021. Ricky Henderson. We got La Pendetta. And a possible future MVP, too, for Luis Robert. That's right, Justin. You'll be like, J-Lo, I don't do roids. This is, this is a natural body right here. There's Brad Hand to 105. And there, here's another rookie. Could be future Buster Posey right here. Rated rookie Joey Bart. My rival is the Giants, Kevin. We got Yoelki Cespedes, which I believe is Yoenis's brother, half brother, younger brother. We got a nice Diamond Kings Mike Trout. Kiebert Ruiz, Garrett Cole to nine ninety nine. Jay Cronenworth, rated rookie. Chris Paddock to 2021. Dylan Carlson's supposed to be kind of a big name this year, right? Is he playing today? I haven't seen him yet. There's Tristan McKenzie for the Padres. No, check that. Cleveland. I think he was on the Padres. There's some sort of trade involved. Cleveland, this is for you. Charles with that autograph. Pitching prospect, from what I remember. Here's Trevor Bauer, Cincinnati edition to 2021. Buzz, what's going on? All right. Got Nelson Cruz. I'd like to hear from everybody if you're if you're feeling like chatting. Um, what's your uh, what's your baseball team, and is is there any interesting uh, storylines coming out of your spring camp? Always obviously I'm a Dodgers guy. Nothing too. Not really an exciting position, but I think people are just kind of wondering, what about Gavin Lux? Is he going to be entrenched in that second base spot? So far, so good. He's been playing well. There's Shane Bieber. David Price been getting some innings in. He said he'll even come out of the bullpen if he has to. Trevor Bauer has been looking sharp. Everyone's been looking uh, looking pretty good and healthy. That's the key. There's Mike Trout right there. So pretty quiet camp. No real drama or anything like that. There's Nolan Ryan. Astros gear. That'll be for Richard and the Strohs. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Right, Will's a Cubs guy. Cubs are Cubs are having a decent spring, I think. I think I'm excited to see all the young players for the Cubs. There's Casey Myers for Kevin and the Tribe. I'm excited to see all those young players in Chicago. Really get some get some time out there. There's 
Max Meyer. I think the nice Ian Anderson too. I think the uh, the Cubs are definitely rebuilding. It's Ian Anderson. He's supposed to be pretty good. So they're rebuilding. Let's see. And there's uh, Braxton Garrett right here. And I'd like to see how Jock Peterson does. Hopefully, what's the what's the word there, Will? Are they going to... Jock Peterson going to play every day? Struggles against lefties. There's a Max Scherzer right there. All right. Maybe you, Justin Larson, wants to start a pool on uh, who Jayla will break up with next. Maybe, uh, maybe you, Justin Larson. Put my money on Justin Larson. Buzz doesn't have a team, but just likes watching the game. Good game. Trout's doing solid, I think. I think Trout's just, you know, for guys like Trout, it's just like, hey, don't get injured. Stay healthy. Don't get injured. And then, you know, he'll do the usual trout things that he usually does. Put together an MVP caliber season. It'll be interesting to see how how Nolan Arenado fits in in, in St. Louis this year, how much of a difference that makes. Never gets a random celebrity. That'd be actually, that'd actually be kind of fun. Right, Lindor. Richard saying we got we got we got Francisco Lindor. That's the new face on a new team. All right, and who's gonna play third base? Yeah. How is what? What's the word on Francisco Lindor? Is he, I guess I really haven't heard much out of New York. I guess there, there's been a, been a little bit of front office drama, but what about like, is he liking New York? Is he, is he fitting in? I guess he's at spring training right now, but I'm looking good at short. He's gotten a place and all that. Yeah, the rest of the NL Central not happy. Justin and Cubs fans not happy that Arenado's with the Cardinals now. He's still smiling. That's good. Saying all the right things. How far do the Mets go this year, ladies and gents? And they they put you got they got. Some new ownership, little, 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 couple little bumps in the road, but they got some new ownership. They're looking forward to the season. They made a ton of moves. You know, they got they got some strong pitching. Lindor at the top of that lineup is going to be pretty exciting. They got some pretty good hitters there. Some decent prospects coming up the ranks. Brandon Lau. Yeah, definitely a chance at the East, but I feel like I feel like the East is really strong. You got the Braves. That's Ozzy Albies nine nine nine. Now, I don't think they made a they didn't really win free agency, but I think Ozzy Albies and Ronald Acuna Jr., guys like that, are still evolving as players. There's the big Puma. Lance Berkman, twenty twenty one. I don't know, that's going to be weird. I mean, the the Phillies could put it all together. It could click in Philadelphia. The Marlins were, the Marlins maybe announced maybe last year that they were ahead of schedule. You know, maybe even be 
maybe even go on a hot streak for a couple of months and really just just be a thorn in the side of the of the NL East. So I think that could be pretty interesting. I think the NL East is by far has to be like the toughest division in baseball, I would think. And it's Javier Christian. Luke Voigt. William Contreras, speaking of the Braves, that goes to the ATL. That'll be for Regina. Andres Jimenez, that's an up-and-coming talent for the Mets. Josh Bell. Josh Bell is going to be new face on the on the Nats. Jose Abreu. Nate Pearson. AL East could be interesting too. The Blue Jays. They're Francisco Lindor, right? They're still Cleveland in this edition. But if the Blue Jays get ahead of schedule with their youngster, that could be pretty interesting too. There's Jose Abreu, unleashed. There's Bryce Harper. Oh, Jimenez did get moved to Cleveland. That's right. Poor Lindor. Well, he was he was an up and coming prospect for the Mets. Now for Cleveland, there's Sonny Gray. And we've got Adonis Medina. Staying with the NL East, that goes to Philadelphia. That'll be for Ryan Kaysen. Jose Canseco to 2021. There's Luis Garcia. Jeff Bagwell to 2021. Christian Pache. There's Cabrian Hayes. This is supposed to be, there's Gavin Lux right here too, and Evan White. I think Cabrian Hayes is another kid that's supposed to be really good. The Pirates rebuilding. So maybe that gives us a chance to see these youngsters in action more often. Richard with Pittsburgh. There's my guy Gavin Lux for Charles in the Dodgers. He's looking good in the spring. Brad Keller. Devers. I think Ryan Mountcastle could be a pretty big name. Right here for the Orioles. That will be for Neil. All right, final box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Good luck.
Adam Wainwright's still looking looking sharp. Is that Vanessa? Hi, Hi Vanessa. Right. So this is like Friday. I was like, wait, what's going on? Uh, our label printer here died too. By the way. How can it go down? It do, it does the same thing the other one's doing. It just spits out blank labels. Oh my gosh. So I so I don't know what to do. I'm gonna try. Is that the new one you have under there? Yeah, that's the new one. And because I thought it was just, it was a hardware issue, but it seems mm -hmm. like a software issue. But here's the thing. I accidentally printed, I accidentally printed one of the, like one of these sheets on the label and that printed, that actually printed. So it's something to do with the software itself, oh. but there's no updates for that. So I feel like for that software. Yeah. So I feel like I have to maybe, I'm going to try reinstalling that software. Yeah. You know, and maybe. Maybe that'll work, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah we didn't try that um, on Wednesday when Nick was here, but I was like, "Is this, this? We don't need ink in this, right?" He's right. Like, no, no, no. There's no ink. And uh, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. So hopefully we'll figure it out before you guys even get to this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. The good thing is that. We'll yeah, we'll have a few days. Yeah. Frank Thomas, Unleashed. I kind of like this. There's terrifying grizzly bears on in the background to 349. Reminds me of the movie The Revenant, where uh, where Leonardo DiCaprio's in the wilderness and he he battled a, a bear, a, a real bear, I think. I don't know. He got he got pretty close to that bear. There was some movie magic, but I think he got pretty close. We got Christian Javier for Houston. That autograph is going to go to Richard. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. It's Kershaw. David Peterson. Nick Madrigal to 2021. He's supposed to be pretty good, too. For the White Sox. Another good guy for the White Sox. Him and like Andrew Vaughn. Kirloff. Was it Alex Kirloff who like shredded his ACL or was it Royce Lewis? I know that there was like a. It was a kind of sad story, but one of those young prospects who was supposed to be maybe coming up this year did their ACL and now they're. Now they're delayed another, pretty much another season. It's Kyle Lewis. Josh Donaldson. Carlos Correa. Andy Pettit. Starling Marte to 249. Almost there, folks. DJ Cronenworth to save some of those. I see CJ Abrams to 999. Rated prospect card. Cody Ballinger. Luis Robert. I feel like the White Sox been getting a lot of these unleashed cards. And Bartolo Colon. Nice. Big sexy, that's for sure. Corbin Burns to 199. And a Jazz Chisholm autograph. Jarrell with the fish.
And slamming Sammy Sosa. Nice. Bit of that Cubs pinstripe in there too for Neil. Judge, Jordan, and that, my friends, is that Marcel Ozuna closes things out. There you go. That was four box Ram team number one of 2020, or I'm sorry, 2021, uh, Panini Donruss Baseball. Thanks for watching. Let's take a quick look at, at what we got out of there, relics and autos, and some of those rookies. There's a lot more of those rookies and numbered cards that are going to be sleeved and top loaded on their way to you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Another four in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.